Hello everybody. Welcome to number one doctor channel. Today we will talk about one of the common surgical problems. Hello doctor. Welcome to you and your channel subscribers. Doctor. A 30 year male patient presented with a lump in right iliac fossa for last five days. Following an acute attack of pain in right iliac fossa. For last one week associated with fever and vomiting. And clinically diagnosed as a pendicular lump. How to manage? Or how will you manage a patient presenting with a lump in right iliac fossa? Important causes of lump in right iliac fossa. 1. Parietal swelling, lipoma, desmoid tumor, iliopsos abscess pointing in the right iliac fossa. 2. Intraabdominal swelling, appendicular lump, appendicular abscess, ileocecal tuberculosis, Crohn's illitis, carcinoma sicamorous ending colon, lymph node mass, cotches or lymphoma, hugely distended gallbladder, 3. Retroperitoneal swelling, hydronephrosis or tumor in an unascended or dropped kidney, retroperitoneal sarcoma, iliopsos abscess, tumor in an undescended right testis. If the patient presents with classic features of acute appendicitis and then presents with a lump in right iliac fossa, this is likely to be an appendicular lump. For arriving at a diagnosis a detailed history, physical examination and some relevant investigations are required. History to include, details history about the lump, onset progress, any history of rapid increase in size. Details history of pain abdomen if present. A detailed physical examination to include, general survey, abdominal examination systemic examination. Relevant investigation to ascertain the nature of the lump includes, complete hemogram, liver function test, ultrasonography of abdomen to ascertain the nature of the lump, solid or cystic, and the organ from where the lump is arising. Examination of liver, spleen, kidneys and lymph nodes. CT scan abdomen for evaluation of retroperitoneal lump. Colonoscopy for evaluation of suspected carcinoma cecum. Intravenous urography for evaluation of renal lesion. Treatment will depend on the diagnosis. Doctor, how is the appendicular lump formed? Appendicular lump is a conglomerate consisting of inflamed appendix, adjacent terminal ileum, cecum and the greater omentum. Doctor, how to differentiate an appendicular lump and an appendicular abscess? In a classical case the appendicular lump forms around the third day of acute attack of pain and develops into an abscess around fifth to tenth day. Purexia Aggravation of the local signs and a rising leukocyte count are indicators of abscess formation. Ultrasound and CT scan may demonstrate pus within an appendicular lump. Doctor, how will you plan management of appendicular lump? If appendicular lump is palpable on admission conservative treatment, oxnersharin regimen is the preferred treatment for following reasons, immediate appendicectomy is technically difficult. There is increased chance of fecal fistula post-operatively operation may be done if conservative treatment fails. Doctor, what are components of conservative treatment? Oxner's share and regime for appendicular lump? For pain, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, diclofenac or esclofenac, or narcotic analgesics, injection pentazacine or pethidine? For vomiting, stop oral fluids, nasogastric suction? Fluid administration, intravenous fluids to maintain fluid electrolyte balance. If patient is not vomiting, oral fluids may be administered. Control infection, second or third generation cephalosporin, sfurazim, along with metronidazole administered parenterally. Alternatively a combination of ampicillin plus gentamicin plus metronidazole may be given. Monitoring is the most important component of conservative treatment, symptomatic improvement like pain, vomiting. Objective improvement, hourly monitoring of pulse, blood pressure and respiration. Monitoring of temperature 4 hourly. 
tenderness and right iliac fossa progress of the lump. Lump is to be marked. If the patient responds well to conservative treatment, interval appendicectomy should be considered after six to eight weeks. Doctor, what may be the outcome of conservative treatment of appendicular lump? When the patient is kept on conservative management, one of the following may happen. Lump may regress, pain decreases, pulse and temperature normalizes, continue antibiotics for 7 to 10 days, allow oral fluid and then food when patient has the desire to eat. Fourth to fifth day, total disappearance of lump takes 6 to 8 weeks. Lump may increase in size, pain and tenderness may increase. Pulse rate may rise and there may be fever with chills and rigor this indicates appendicular abscess formation. Doctor, patient is taken up for appendicectomy and palpation of right iliac fossa under general anesthesia revealed a mass. What should be done? If the symptoms has been present for a few days, three to five days, appendicectomy should be performed as scheduled. In most of these cases greater omentum is found loosely wrapped around an inflamed appendix. There is no evidence that appendicectomy is associated with higher complication rate in such situation. If the symptoms are present for a longer duration greater than 7 days a firm lump is palpable it is preferable not to operate for fear of difficult, bloody and dangerous operation which may lead to increased risk of fecal fistula. Doctor. How will you manage a case of appendicular abscess? The patient may show features of septicemia. Formation of pus is confirmed by ultrasound or CT scan. Resuscitation followed by drainage of abscess is the treatment of choice. Intravenous fluids. Nasogastric suction, catheterization for monitoring urine output, intravenous antibiotics, sfurazine plus metronidazole, Steps of drainage of appendicular abscess, retrocecal or subchecal variety extraperitoneal drainage is to be done. General anesthesia with endotracheal intubation. Rutherford Morrison's incision, this is a muscle cutting incision. Skin and external oblique incision like McBurney's incision. But the internal oblique and transversus abdomenis muscles are cut in the same line of incision for better drainage. The abscess wall is incised and abscess drained without opening the peritoneum. A tube drain is inserted through separate stab wound and the main wound is closed in layers. Appendicectomy at this stage is usually not done. But if appendix is lying free in abscess cavity some surgeons prefer to do it. Pelvic appendix leading to pelvic abscess points into rectum of vagina and may be drained by transrectal or transvaginal route. For pre-allele and post-allele variety, it is difficult to avoid the peritoneal cavity so careful packing is to be done to isolate abscess from peritoneal cavity. Percutaneous drainage, with advent of interventional radiology a pentacular abscess may be drained by placement of a tube into the abscess cavity under ultrasound guidance. Doctor. What is the rationality of interval appendicectomy following conservative treatment of appendicular mass and appendicular abscess? An elective appendicectomy after 8 to 12 weeks is the normal. But it was conceded that in some cases the appendix becomes a fibrotic cord and is unlikely to cause further problems. Many has questioned the routine use of interval appendicectomy since the recurrence rate of acute appendicitis is low ranging between 3% to 15% over a long follow-up period. So routine interval appendicectomy is not advised following treatment of appendicular mass and abscess. This may be indicated in patient, who in the future may not have easy access to surgical facilities. However, secal malignancy is to be excluded by barium enema or colonoscopic study. Thanks doctor for excellent discussion. Hope to see you again in more next videos. With my best wishes. Dr. 8 Fumad.